Welcome to Make Your Mark podcast, where guests share their experiences, insights, and tactics to help you accelerate your business. So building, scaling, and monetizing your business is made easier. And I will be your host, Kay Suthar. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Make Your Mark podcast. And oh my goodness, I am super excited for our guest today. Now, he works... um, Wait, hold on a minute. What works Academy's CEO? Right. So the our our go high level is called What Works Academy. Okay. Well, good job. We can do editing, isn't it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> now our guest today, he actually is the CEO of What Works Academy. His name is Lucio Crisel. Did I say that right? Crisel Criselli, depending whether you're Italian or not. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. And he has more than 30 years plus of experience as a nutrition and fitness expert. He holds a bachelor's degree in food science and human nutrition and dietet. Oh my God, dietetics. Dietics? The dietetics. So if you're a registered <laughs> dietitian, right? Right. <laughs> I can't say words. Oh my goodness. Mm. Diet- dietetics. Dietetics. There you go. Dietetics. Okay. Okay, let's do that bit again. In food science and human nutrition and dietetics with a minor in exercise and sports sciences from the University of Florida, Gainesville. Now, early on his career, Lucho learned that people's businesses don't actually make money. And it's all because of the marketing. And those businesses that make money have absolutely great marketing and without it, well, people are just losing money. They're getting left on the table and, well, they're not having a business. It's actually a hobby, guys, right? And so what Lucho has done, he had an epiphany. He has a passion to help small to medium-sized businesses in all niches the correct way to market and automate their businesses to increase trust online and go from zero dollars to thirty thousand dollar days by following a proven step-by-step system guys this is why i'm so excited for him to be on this show right because he's gonna go through this system with us and explain why it's so important for all business owners so please welcome lucho Oh my goodness, Lucho, I'm super, super excited for you to be here. I can't get, I can't wait to get into this. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure being a guest on your podcast, being that you are the podcast person to be with. So thank you. And no. yes, that was kind of a mouthful when it came to my my uh, <laughs> biography. I just turned 60, so I've been around for a while. Wow. And, and one of the things I wanted to point out is that your knowledge does not make you money, regardless of what your business is. See, your we, we have what we call an asset. And your asset is made up of three things. Your knowledge, your experience, and your skills. And the reality is that most people can go get the same knowledge you have and pretty much the same skills. But it's your experience that sets you apart from everybody else on how you apply that knowledge and how you apply those skills. And what we've been lied to about, I have a number of degrees, as you can see them there, is that the more education you have, the more money you can make. And that's really not the truth. Don't need to go get another certification. You don't need to go get another blah, blah, blah. Because there's people out there that have less knowledge than you do in the nail of your pinky that are making more money than you. That is true. That is true. And I'm sure people have thought, oh, my goodness, this guy, like, you know, people out there, how are the heck? Oh, they making so much money, right? Like when they're, when some of them are total idiots. When when you're right. like, what? especially in nutrition, right? Nutrition is real simple, but there's a lot of money in making it difficult. So the lie that you've been told is that the more you know, the more money you make. And the truth is that your knowledge and your business do not make you the money. They hold the money. If you're good at what you do, people like you. That you might get a referral or two. But your knowledge does not make the money. Your business does not make the money. The marketing makes the money. Mm. And that's why those people that are better marketers and they're worse coaches than whoever's listening to us right now, which I know they, there's a lot of people out there that are frustrated. They're going, oh my God, they're teaching that? That's like 1970 stuff and they're making money? That's not because they know more. That's because they're a better marketer. Mm. So the marketing makes the money. Your knowledge holds the money. 
And that's what you don't know behind the scenes. Those people that are seem to be making more money, but they're selling crap for lack of a better business. Well, those most likely are getting a lot of refunds and people want their money back and get a bad name on the internet. Mm -hmm. And and your reputation is worth gold. And that's why we have a proven system and we help people get the results they need with a real simple system. Because like I said, there's a lot of money trying to make things complicated. A lot of times people join a coaching program or a program that gives them 17 different options, but no way to apply anything. In the nutrition world, there's, there's a certifying, certifying body out there that teaches you 101 diet modalities, mm. but you cannot apply any of them. It's like if I was a mechanic school, say, look, look at all these tools, but you can't touch them. Then oh, what's the purpose, right? Yeah. Well, we teach people how to create a custom nutrition program based on the individual. And, and that's kind of how I got started. I have degrees in food science, human nutrition, exercise kinesiology. I was a registered dietitian for many years at one of the United States top 30 hospitals in charge of the burn unit, intensive care unit, oncology and ortho. And after many years of dealing with sick people, I wanted to go back to the other side of the equation and deal with preventing them to get sick. Ah. So I developed a nutrition certification, the first nutrition certification for the health and fitness industry to teach people how to make better choices because you can pay for your health now or you can pay for it later. Right, yeah. Absolutely. And even though I taught them how to do the nutrition programs the right way, what we noticed was that they didn't know how to market themselves. So my wife and I, Lisa, we developed a program called Monetize Your Nutrition Knowledge, where we, teach, where we took people with great nutrition knowledge, but didn't know how to market themselves and taught them how to market that. And as things progressed, we, we had to find a better way. And we found a system that it's very simple. Because the more simple it is, the easier it is for people to implement. Because you don't want to go learn marketing. You don't want to go learn funnels. Mm -hmm. I'm a geek. I love that stuff. I'm, besides being a nutrition expert, I'm also a, a, a automation and profitability expert. Mm -hmm. So we would take somebody who had a $300, $495 product or program and teach them how to sell it between three dollars to $10,000. Because people don't want your coaching. Right. What they want is the end result. So we teach you how to sell the end result. And the problem right now is that it's gotten really bad post COVID. It was bad before, but now the problem is that nobody trusts you. Right. And yeah. Not us personally. They just don't trust them. Listen, they don't trust the government. They don't trust the media. They don't even trust the good conspiracy theory anymore. So even if they do trust you, if you think that they don't, then you become a better marketer. And that's the problem in order for them to trust you. You have to actually follow a step-by-step -step process that is really simple, but, and you also have to promise the end result. And that's the problem with a lot of coaches is that they want to be a life coach. Well, what is that? That covers my entire life. Mm -hmm. If you can be specific and promise a specific end result, then you're going to be able to stand apart from everybody else. And you need okay. a system to do that. Right. Now, before we go into this a little bit deeper, uh, we need to go deeper into this because people need to understand it. Lucia, I want you to explain to our audience a little bit about, you know, some of the ups and downs you went through, because being someone that comes from the nutrition world and then all of a sudden becoming this amazing marketer and understanding automation, like it's two different worlds altogether. Well, it, it sounds like two different worlds, maybe not. Right. So mm -hmm. What was that journey like? What were some of the ups and downs that you went through? Um, just for our listeners to understand how that transition began. Well, right. So as I mentioned, I was a registered dietitian in a major hospital. And I left that and I became the head dietitian for here in the United States. It was called back then the Sport Club, LA Sport Club, Irvine. And that was a real high-end work uh, environment. Like if you wanted to join, it was $2,500 to join and a real expensive monthly bill. But when you got done working out, you took your clothes off, you gave them to the attendant, they washed them and folded them and put them back in your locker. <laughs> you could go <laughs> see the dietitian, which was me, and then sign for it and you get billed at the end of the month. And we had a sushi bar, a restaurant, massage, facials, you know, it was the whole LA thing, right? Right. And I was making a difference, but only with those really high end people. Mm. So that's why I decided to, to develop a nutrition certification. And here's the thing. I teamed up with a guy that was doing personal training certifications and we sold $100,000 of our certified fitness nutrition specialist before I put pen to paper. Oh, wow. Well, that's my, that was one of my first marketing, you know, knowledge bombs, right? My first epiphanies. 
most people spend three months, six months, six years creating their program. And by the time they launch it, nobody wants it. That's right. So instead, we launched it and said, listen, back then that was 2003. So here we are 20 years later, right? Right. And, and said, look, we're launching a nutrition certification for the fitness industry. It's going to be $599. If you buy it now for before pre-launch, it's $349. We made $100,000. So now I had 100,000 reasons to get off my butt and write the certification. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. So, I like that. Once we did that, then what became obvious was that people didn't want to take the time to manually create a nutrition program. So then I went on and I developed nutrition software. So now they had the nutrition knowledge, they had the software to make their life easy with a couple of clicks of the mouse, they could create a custom nutrition program, but they still couldn't sell themselves out of a wet paper sack. Huh. So I worked with Tony Robbins for many years, part of his team. And I learned neuro-linguistic programming and I learned how to elicit people's values. What's truly important to you about a nutrition program, right? And then I see if what I have to offer can develop, deliver those things that are important to someone. Like they wanted it to be easy. They wanted to make it, you know, easy to change foods. They wanted to be able to track their, whatever it is. And if I can deliver that, then we, we would be able to, to agree. And then I would offer you a nutrition program. So we started teaching people how to sell through our, our webinar or our live event, which was called Monetizing Nutrition Knowledge, right? right? And then as the internet evolved, we we started noticing that we needed to market online because that was a way to do things. Mm -hmm. So we yeah. teach people how to do two things. One, we call it Baby Steps, which is where you do an online class and it's a free class and you provide value. And then if they want additional help, we help them. And then on that phone call, we decide if they're the right fit or not. And um, we just offer for help for free. And then if they say, listen, this all sounds great, but can you do this for me? Then we say, okay, now we go from a free class to let's offer you how we could work together if it's the right fit, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have big steps, which is where you do a live event. So you do the same thing. Once you perfected it online, then you can fill a room in a hotel or you could do it in, in an event space. Or a lot of places here have uh, apartments, have conference rooms. So we have ways of helping people fill rooms with their ideal prospect where they can help them and provide value. And then if that person wants to go a step further, then they can work with them individually. Oh, that's interesting that you said that you want to be able to do this online successfully and then move over and do live events. Cause most people are like, let's just do live events, live events, right? They want to kind of dive into that because I guess there's that, that personal connection, deeper connection, right? But then the issue is they have this great idea. They can't fill the room. Exactly. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Filling the room is the challenge, right? So yeah. we have, there's three ways of traffic. One is called free traffic. And free traffic can work, but it's really slow. Yes. And that's you posting, like Grant Cardone says, in 17 different social medias 300 times a day. Who has time for that unless you hire his team, right? Right. Uh, the other way would be paid ads. And then paid ads could be Facebook. It could be YouTube. It could be Google. It could be whatever. And then there's another way called borrowed traffic. And borrowed traffic is what we refer to as joint ventures. Uh, and that's where you team up with somebody who has the ideal customer for you, and then you can market them. For example, here in, in the United States, we have, and I'm sure you have it in the, in the UK as well, a, a clothing store called Lululemon. Yes. Or yoga pants, right? Yeah. Well, who goes to those stores? People that are most likely affluent, that are taking care of their health, and they buy nice workout clothes. Well we teach our nutritionists to go there and, and say, hey, listen, we'd like to offer a free nutrition seminar for your clients. Mm. So they invite all their clients to the Lululemon store. Why is that? Because Lululemon wants people to come into the store to buy stuff. And that's right. where you offer a free nutrition program where you tell them exactly everything they need to do about their nutrition program and say, hey, and by the way, if you want us to create this for you, um, because you took the time to be here today, we'll give you a special deal. So that's a joint venture or borrowed traffic. You have people who have your ideal clients, but they're not offering the solution that you offer. Lululemon does not offer nutrition. <laughs> right. So, now, that also can work with yoga teachers, right? Mm -hmm. Who goes to Lululemon? Women who buy yoga pants and men, of course. So if you go, hey, I'd like to teach a free yoga class, they're like, sure, of course, all our clients like yoga. Right. So that's kind of what we refer to as borrowed traffic. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the ways of building trust because, again, your audience does not trust you. And not that they don't trust you personally, they just don't trust marketing anymore. 
Right. And that's what we always like to do, the live classes. Whether it's on Zoom, it's a live Zoom class. Whether it's in person, of course, it's a live in-person class. Uh, but years ago, there was a program, they're still around, called um, Ever Webinar, where you could make somebody think that it was a live class. Right. And so, everyone thought that was a really good idea. Everybody was doing it. And I'm sure there's a few people that still do it. Correct. And, and the the way to do that is to say, hey, you can attend my pre-recorded webinar, mm. right? But if you say, oh, it's my live class and you show up and it's a video, people are like, okay, this guy's lying to me already. Yeah. So why should I trust what they say? So we want to build trust. And the way to build trust is if I can see you, you can see me, and I can answer your questions live right now, then people say, well, yes, this is a true a true person. It's a true webinar. It's a true live event. It's not some pre-recorded, you know, thing. Those pre-recorded ones still work for certain things, but when you truly want to build trust and mm-hmm. you truly want to deliver, then you need to do it live. Absolutely. And if you do it live, then you may not be in the right business. Yeah. <laughs> it's true because I must say to, to um, a lot of people that um, ask about podcasting, right? Mm-hmm. So they're like, no, we just want to do audio. We don't want to do video. I'm like, but you're doing this to build your business, right? So video podcasting is an absolute must to build no like and trust. People want to see you and hear you, right? Mm-hmm. So I totally hear where you're coming from. And it is all about, you know, people um, being on video these days, right? right. Um, live videos, recorded videos, but people want to see you. And when it comes to an event, a live event, and they don't know you, and you've come through someone else as a partner, then it is about building that trust and then being able to see you and seeing your mannerisms, everything, right? They're reading to everything to build that trust. And so doing lives is so, so much better and beneficial for you to even build your own audience and build up even further raving fans. Yeah, absolutely, because people, I mean, there's, there's facial cues, there's body language, there's, you know, every now and then if I get really excited, I drop an F-bomb here and there. And if that's not their <laughs> thing, then they're not the right audience, right? So you don't want to put up a fake persona and then when they get to meet you or work with you or somebody different. So this allows them to get the, to know the real you, how you react to questions in a live environment. If somebody asks you something or if you have a heckler or something like that, mm-hmm. the way that you handle that speaks volumes. So people will understand that, hey, this is a professional. They know what they're doing. They've been around for years or even if you're just starting, as long as you know how to deliver value and how to offer the end result which is what the client wants. They don't care how many classes, how many DVDs, like in the old days, or how many videos. They just want to know if you can take them from point A to point B, which is with that, their end result that they want. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I love that. And the fact that you actually, Cara, Cara got, got, uh, saying words I can't say again. Oh, my goodness. You emphasize on the fact that video and doing it live and making sure you actually show up is highly, highly important. Now, I want to go a little bit deeper into funnels right now. You're the funnel guy. You love funnels. You know how to create funnels inside out that actually work, right? Because there's so many funnels out there that people are delving into and trying out, but they don't always work. But the process you have got, oh my goodness, is unbelievable. So can you talk us through a little bit about what that looks like? Yeah. So when it comes to funnels, there's all sorts of different funnel software out there. The one that most people may have heard of is ClickFunnels. And the guy that developed it was Russell Brunson. Mm -hmm. And my wife and I were one of the first 500 to 1,000 people on ClickFunnels. So we've been around since the beginning of of that software, right? Wow. And so regardless of what software it is, the problem is that most people don't want to learn software. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we listen, look, we'll just build it for you. Okay. So... The thing with most funnels is they say, hey, we'll get you an appointment. So great. So you run the traffic, whether it's the paid traffic, free traffic, or borrowed traffic, which we teach people exactly step-by-step how to do that so they don't have to pay for stuff to begin with for for the traffic. Uh, And then once they get the appointment, it's like, okay, our job is done. What we do with our funnel, we call it the cornerstone funnel because it's the cornerstone of everything we do in our business because it builds trust and it speaks the languages of the three different buyers. There's three different types of buyers that if you're not speaking their language, well, you're missing out on at least 66% of your sales because we like to sell the way that we like to buy. And that's what we tend to speak, right? So who are the buyers then? the three different buyers? So one of the buyers everybody knows is the emotional buyer. And that's the person that you paint the big picture, what it's going to look like once you have this done and what's going to happen. 
the other person is like me. It's the the critical buyer. You know, I, I look at the all of the information. I need to look at facts and numbers. Mm-hmm. And for your viewers who join us for my live webinar, which I'm going to be doing in January, yes. I'll tell them what the third one is because most people don't know what the third one is or how to mm-hmm. speak to that person. Okay. All right. Oh, guys, you got to join <laughs> this webinar again. It's going to be live right and exactly. you're going to be it's going to be t- telling you uh, so much more detail on this funnel and the process and all of that but we'll be giving you details towards the end so you know keep listening or keep watching if you're on youtube all right so and Luch- we're not and let me add one thing we're not going to waste your time to go 45 minutes to an hour it's not going to be one of those three hour marathons that then you learn nothing we're going to tell you exactly what to do how to do it and you go do it yourself and it's real simple to do because again we want to simplify things it's a seven day recurring funnel that all you do is you show up and you do one live class a week and then you take phone calls or zoom calls for people who want additional help. And that's basically what it is. But the whole idea is that it helps you build trust and then it teaches you how to speak those three different buyer languages. Right. I love that. I love that. Now I've got to ask you, Lucho, how did you come about this funnel? Like, how did you know, oh, my goodness, these are the gaps that I'm missing. We're going to create all of it because the funnel, it has so much, right? It's really simple to use because you created it. It's a, you know, it's just there for us to put the information in. But how did you come about that this is a funnel that works and works no matter what niche you're in? Right. So what years ago, about seven years ago, my wife and I, we live in Las Vegas. And as you know, all sorts of conferences come here. Right. So we go to conferences on a regular basis and our business is doing well, you know, and we went to this one conference, somehow I ended up with an email. I don't remember how. And we went to see this Australian guy, uh, <laughs> Brett McFall. And we were like, yeah, we're leaving our credit card at home. We're not buying anything. <laughs> By the time he got done, we had all of the pieces in our business, but they're all scattered. We had an online course. We had high ticket. We had a VIP day. We had everything, but they weren't in the right order. So he explained to us how to put everything into, we were basically consultants, right? So if you're in the health and fitness industry, you'd come over, we'd say, okay, and and here's the difference between a consultant and a coach. A consultant works like this. You come to me and you have a problem. I reach into my bag of tricks and solutions and I solve that problem, right? Next person comes in with a different problem. I reach in my bag of tricks and solutions and solve their problem. Right. A coach has all of these solutions in a step-by-step process and he walks the person through those processes to solve all their problems. Mm. So that's what we're doing. We can only see eight clients at a time because we're dealing with putting out fires one at a time. So he said, well, if you look at all these issues, if you were to put them in order, how would they have to solve them? Well, first you need to put this in place, then you need this, then you need this, and it's like, yeah, we have all those things. So that is exactly what we created. excuse me we created a process by which they could go step by step and address all the issues that we know that they need to fix in their business so once we did that it completely changed our business we could because we could scale right instead of only seeing eight people we could do a lot higher volume and help more people and then we could also have a much higher um, uh, impact on their lives and uh, so we became really good friends with with brett and uh, he started marketing what he was calling back then. It was called Fast Client Formula because it was a way to get your clients to get results really quickly. Yeah. And we started traveling with him. Uh, and then uh, because we always did events here, we helped them get the event room and all of that. And then when COVID hit, we started doing phone calls together. I was doing phone calls for his program. And uh, now we're licensed to do the Cornerstone Funnel, which Brett created. And it's produced over $20 million in sales in wow. over 500 different niches. And here I've done $40,000 days. And that's why one of the things you said, how to go from zero to $30,000 days. Most people that doesn't fit They're They're wanting to maybe make $30,000 in a year. <laughs> right. I was just going to say that to you. Some people are thinking I'd be happy with that in a month, right? Exactly. Like 30,000 days. Is that even possible? Right. So I've only done, um, we were doing just a test here to make sure that it worked the way we wanted to. And the first time we did it, we did 42,000. Then we run another event, we did 48,000. And the last event, we did 52,000. Wow. And it was in the room with, we had 25 people in the room, and I only had like 10 people that, that wanted, uh, 10 or 12 people that wanted additional help. So you don't have to have a large room. You don't have to have a super high ticket program. 
You right. just have to be able to have three things. Number one is build trust. Number two is speak the language of the buyers, those three different languages. Okay. And number three is be able to offer an end result. Because a lot of times people would say, well, I'm going to empower you. Empower me to do what? <laughs> when was I was depowered, right? You need to be able to offer a specific result in a specific period of time. So we can take you from zero to $30,000 days in 30 days if you implement what we tell you. And what we tell you to implement is real simple. Uh, it's fill in the blanks. Mm -hmm. So, for example, it, you know, it's what is the name of your class? What is the problem you solve? You know, and, and real simple stuff. And we have 80% of all of the, all of the copywriting, all of the funnel built, the, the funnel is built for you. We, we build it in three days. But it's built with blanks, right? And you're yeah. going through this process yourself. So the, yes. the blanks that you fill in are real simple. It's like, what day do you want to teach it? What time do you want to teach it? What is the problem you solve? So it's a real simple process. As long as you can click a mouse and fill in the blanks and follow instructions, you're able to do it. Right. That, that's what I love. And absolutely, I am totally doing this for myself and my business for sure. Um, it's an awesome process. You've got the whole template set up. Right. There's no starting from scratch. It's all there. The process, everything step by step. You give it to us in bite sized chunks. So, you, you know, we understand it. And you do all the technical back end, go high level funnel stuff for us. Right. So we don't whether even have to think about it. <laughs> whether it's quick funnels or go high level or whatever CRM you're using, we plug that in there. If you don't have anything, we use click funnels because it's the easiest one. If you already have go high level, we plug it into go high level. Um, but the cool thing is once everything is done, we don't say, okay, go for it. We have Brett, who is an expert copywriter for the last 20 plus years, go through every single slide because we, here's the thing, people will have to do a class. I don't know how to do a class. Okay, don't worry. We'll, we'll give you the template for the class. Well, I don't know how to do a sales call. Don't worry. We'll give you a template for a sales call. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, what else do you know. If you don't know your product or your service, then we can't help you, but you have to have something to help people. I had a lady who was in Mary Kay. They may have great products, but it's not a good fit for a funnel to market. Okay. So when people ask us for help, we, we go through and see if it's the right fit for them. And I tell more people no more often than I do yes, because we only say yes when we know that we can help you get to $30,000 days. And to some people that just boggles their mind, because like you said, they may want to go maybe a $30,000 or $10,000 a month. Mm -hmm. But we show you how to do that. And the reason is um, there's a guy called Rod, well, there was a guy called Roger Bannister. And Roger Bannister was the first human to break a four minute mile. Before he ran a four minute mile, everybody thought, no, your heart will explode. You'll die. That can't be done. Yeah. So he ran it. And once he ran a four minute mile, then weeks later, other people started doing it. Now we have high school students running a four minute mile. So. <laughs> In the coaching or in the online marketing industry, a $30,000 day is what we refer to as your four minute mile. Because once you had a $30,000 day, it just, it's an epiphany that opens up your mind to the possibilities of what truly can be done and how many more people you can reach and help. And so we shoot for the $30,000 day we teach you, but what if you have a $10,000 day? Well, how many days are there in the month? <laughs> right. You could do that once a week. Because you're doing just one live class every week for 30, 45 minutes to an hour. And then you get on Zoom calls with people who want your help. It's, it's real simple. Yeah. It's simplifying things makes it easier for people to follow through. Right. And the fact that you thought about everything, right? You right. thought about the funnel, the sales call. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, my God, I'm terrible at sales. I don't know how to do sales. You've given them templates, what to say exactly, how to say it. All of that is all being thought about the entire process from A to Z. There's no reason why this can't work. One of the coaches we hired and early on in our career, we paid him $100,000 in a year. Okay. And no way. The biggest, the biggest lesson we got from him was this. Sales is something you do for someone, not to someone. Mm. And that's the problem. Most people think that when they're doing sales, they're doing it to the person. Yeah. If I am selling you a car, it's I'm doing that for you so you can arrive from point A to point Z in comfort. Absolutely. If I am a doctor and I say that you need a quadruple bypass, I'm selling you on the idea that you need to have this operation now so you don't die. So I'm not tricking you into letting me cut your chest open and unblock your arteries. I'm explaining to you how if you don't do this, you're going to die. 
So if you're a coach, if you're a business owner, you have to be able to explain to people how what you do is going to improve their life or, or help them reach their goals. So you're not selling it to them, you're selling it for them. When you go to a restaurant and you order a meal, they're cooking it for you so you can nourish your body and thrive and be able to have energy and move. They're not going to say, ha ha, we're going to take this guy's money and give him some food. No, it's not that at all. <laughs> right. You know, what? it's so funny you mentioned that because um, just today uh, I was talking to somebody um, and we all go through ups and downs in life. Right. It happens. Right. And so we were talking, we had this epiphany that, you know what, life doesn't happen to us. It happens for us. There's a reason for everything. Right. We don't always see it at the time when it happens. But then maybe a few months, weeks, even years down the line, we realize, ah, that was because of X, Y, and Z, right? So everything that comes to us is for us, and we just got to make it work. We've got to figure it out. There's a law. There's many universal laws. Most people know the law of attraction, right? Yeah. Well, you cannot write the word attraction without action. You can't just sit on your ass and go home and expect something to happen. You have to take action. And there's another law called the law of cause and effect. The life you have right now is the effect of what you have been doing up until now. Yes. Right now, the amount of money you have in your bank account is the effect of the marketing you have been doing up until now. Mm-hmm. So we learn from that same coach when something happens is like you say, why am I choosing to have this experience? Yes. Because that makes you take ownership of your life. Life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you, just like you said, right? Mm-hmm. So why am I choosing to have this experience? What have I done that causes me to be in this situation? Right. Absolutely. We're both in the same wavelength here because. Definitely. Definitely. Now, I want to start talking about the um, actual workshops that you're doing, right? When it is, where it is. Um, I know people are probably thinking, oh my goodness, I need to be on this workshop. So, where can they go? How do they find you? How do they register? And tell us a little bit about the workshop itself. So it's going to be January 18th at 4 p.m. Pacific time. We are in Las Vegas, so that's the time that we are in right here. And you can put the link to there so that they go directly to that. Uh, but what we're going to talk about is, is the two things that I mentioned, basically, is <clears throat> how to build trust. Because, like you mentioned, people will, will buy from somebody who they know, like, and trust. Mm-hmm. And then the other thing is how to make sales. And in yeah. order to make sales, you need to speak to three languages of the three different buyers. And uh, Brett and I put together a, a training that's $197. So when they register for the workshop, we'll send them those pre-trainings Ooh. ahead of time. So that way they'll already understand things a little bit more. And the free training, the pre-trainings are only three minutes long. Three right. videos are about three minutes long. We're not, again, we don't complicate things. We make them super simple to understand and even more simple to implement. Now, there's a difference between easy and simple. Mm. <laughs> easy okay. would be to say, I help people. Who do you help? I help everybody. What do you do? Oh, I improve their lives. No, nobody is going to buy that. So you mm. have to be able to deliver a specific. And not only that, we have, like I said, Brett is an expert copywriter. will help you develop a headline that will make people want to buy from you. Ooh. Ooh, okay, yeah, copywriting is a huge thing as well, right? Um, and I don't want to miss that on the, on this episode. Like making sure the languaging, um, how you say it, what you're saying is all coming across the right way to the audience that you want to work with. And here's the thing: right now, everybody's saying, "Oh, I can get ChatGPT to write my headline." Well, yes. do you know how ChatGPT works? <clears throat> it goes out <laughs> and it scours the internet and it gets all the good stuff and all the bad stuff and puts something together. So. <laughs> It's making you look like everybody else. Ah. Excuse me, sir. So, yeah, you don't want to be sounding like everybody else and sounding generic. You want to be sounding like yourself. You want to be unique. And when people hear about what you do, how you do it, how you can help them, what results you can get, you want them jumping um, at it and being like, I need to work with you. Yeah. Right. uh, right. So uh, there's a way to use ChatGPT, and that's to get the general idea, and then you can personalize it, make it sound like you, and, and really make it more specific. So on the workshop, we'll be showing you exactly what are the different pages you would need to have, mm-hmm. what are the emails that you need to have, and we're going to cover it in great detail so you can go and do it yourself. 
And again, if you want some help and see how we could do it for you, I'll have, I'll have the option for you to schedule a call with me. And on those calls, we don't sell you anything. It's just to help you. So you can leave your credit card at home. Uh, we'll give you all the help you need. And then at the end, you decide it's like, hey, this is something I want to do. Or if you want us to do it for you, then we can have a, a not a sales conversation, but a let's help you conversation. And if it's the right fit, great. And if not, we leave with friends. It's friends. We don't, there's no pressure. People that train salespeople to paint somebody into a corner end up getting lots of refunds and lots of problems because people made a decision out of, out of pressure. Mm-hmm. What we do is we yeah. say, listen, here's what you want. Here's what we can do. If it's a great fit, great. If not, hey, we'll see you around. Maybe a year from now, when you're tired of not making money, then you'll want some help. Or when you try other things. <laughs> but- and we we even invested yeah. in many coaches, and some of them were amazing, and some others were like, "Wow, that was a, a that was a lesson to be made, <laughs> to be learned." Mm-hmm. So we're here to yeah. help people, and and we feel that if you help enough people, sales take care of themselves. So right, yes. In the workshop, we'll teach you exactly. I'll show you exactly what every single page looks like, exactly what it has to say, when it has to go out, has to work. And I was saying earlier, most funnels get you the appointment. And then after that, you're on your own. Yeah. Well, 99% of sales happen on follow-up. So we teach you not only how to get somebody to schedule the appointment for you or with you, but also how to follow up with them and how to make sure that you answer their questions the right way and how you truly help people to get what they want. And who was it, Zig Ziglar, that said, if you help enough people get what they want, you get what you want. Well, what we want for you is to get a $30,000 day repeatedly throughout the month, not once a year, not once every blue moon, but at least three times, four times a month, because you'll be doing a live 45 minute to 60 minute class once a week. And if you're not willing to do one class for about an hour once a week, then this is not the thing for you, because that's how we build trust. And that's how we help you reach your goals as well absolutely i love it i love it now guys just to repeat again it the workshop is on january 18th um at 4 p.m pacific time is that right lucho 4 p.m pacific time and the link is actually cornerstonefunnelsystem.com forward slash k k a y so that's cornerstone funnel system dot com forward slash k i will be putting all the links in the show notes um so please go and check it out Oh my God, Lucho, so many golden nuggets in such a short amount of time. Now, is there anything else you would like to share with the audience before we come to the end of this episode? Well, most people ask, well, why do you call it the cornerstone funnel? And it's because it's the cornerstone of any business. Mm, And your business does not make you money. The marketing makes the money. And with the cornerstone funnel, we've been able to market $25,000 $25,000 programs, $10,000 programs, and even $197 a month membership programs. So it doesn't matter what you're selling. What matters is, again, the end result, how you're helping people achieve their goals. And we're here to help you achieve yours. If you're interested, if you are happy with what you're doing, no worries. If you are happy with what you're doing, but you want more, we can help you. And we want to help you simplify your life. Um, there's a lot of complicated ways to run your business. We want to make it as simple as possible, fill in the blanks, follow the bouncing ball, write a little bit of stuff, submit it for us to, to massage it and, and edit it for you, and then have everything ready to go. Um, and we can go as fast or as slow as you like. We build the whole funnel in three days, three to five days, and then it's up to you to provide the content. I'm not the podcast expert. You are providing that content, right? Mm-hmm. So we help you tweak those headlines. We help you tweak those emails. We help you tweak the presentation so that it's more appealing for the end buyer or for the person who needs your help drastically or desperately, but they don't know it because you're not communicating it correctly. Right, right. I love it. I love it. I like the fact that you say that, you know, you go at the person's pace, right? right? You're not rushing them. You're you're not slowing them down. It's at your pace. And yeah, I love the fact that you do that. Thank you so much, Lucho, for coming onto the show and sharing so many golden nuggets. Um, guys, I urge you to go and register for this workshop. It's going to blow your mind. I know it blew my mind um, when I heard about it. And I was like, oh, my goodness, is it this simple? And yes, it actually is. I know firsthand because I'm doing it myself. Um, and in fact, if you have any questions about it, then please do reach out to me. Other than that, go and register for this workshop. Thanks again, Lucho. 
Thanks for listening to Make Your Mark podcast at www.makeyourmarkpodcast.com. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get this and every other episode that comes out. We have lots of great stuff coming, so make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss it. And thank you in advance for all the reviews and comments. I appreciate it so much. And I look forward to serving you in next week's episode.